Things that confuse the living daylights out of people. Rubik's Cube, product assembly instructions on Christmas morning, and Placer County Fire Service. Yes, the system of providing fire service in Placer isn't known for its simplicity. You'd think it would be as easy as, there's a fire! We are here to help! But over decades and generations, instead we have this. This map shows the 19 different fire districts in Placer, each responsible for its own local independent fire service. Each has its own chief, captains, lieutenants, firefighters, emergency medical staff, administrative support, lawyers, unions, fire boards, and more. Only one of them, this one right here, is actually run by the government of Placer County, and that's through a contract with Cal Fire. So here are the 19 different fire districts, each with its own local taxes and fees above and beyond property taxes. But it gets more complicated than that because within Placer County's fire district, there are seven different areas, each with its own fees and taxes for fire service. Over the years, voters in each area have determined how much they're willing to pay to fund fire service in their area, and as a result, how robust that fire service should be. So in all, you've got 26 different zones all paying different fees, receiving different levels of fire service. For example, Dry Creek is one specific area within the Placer County Fire District. It covers this much territory. And most residents there pay $199 per year for fire protection service above and beyond their property taxes. Forest Hill, meanwhile, covers this much territory, and residents there pay $121 per year. Adding fuel to the fire, pun intended, Many Placer County residents pay an annual State Responsibility Area Fire Prevention Fee, the so-called fire tax of either $117 or $152 per year, not one penny of which goes to any of our Placer County firefighting organizations. The SRA tax is state funding for CAL FIRE prevention efforts, and that confuses people even more. Luckily, when the going gets tough, we all work together to support each other. But no matter how you slice it, it's an outdated system that began early in the last century, and we need to bring it into modern times. It's no wonder many of the fire districts, including Placer County Fire, are in financial trouble. We aren't alone in this, though. Counties throughout California are facing the same challenge. Our fire service is in need of a quadruple bypass, a major overhaul. Some have suggested that the county should provide financial support to these struggling districts, but that's like putting a Band-Aid on a broken leg. And how is it fair to the people of other districts who already paid their fair share for fire service in their cities and communities? So Placer County and our fire partners are embarking on a search for a long-term solution. We are hiring an outside consultant to take a critical look at our current system and make some unbiased recommendations about the best way to organize moving forward. All options are on the table. This could result in a recommendation to consolidate all of these fire districts into one big fire service, or perhaps a couple of different districts, or perhaps something else entirely. Whatever the recommendation is, it will take all of us working together to make it successful before the whole system goes up in smoke.